Yeah, boys. Oh! Second last game of the year, playing at home. It's my birthday today, so I'm having a great time. I'm absolutely stoked to be playing. Last weekend was an absolute shit show, but keen to just end the year on a really good note, having fun with my friends and having fun with the team and like just coming into the coming into the game. Super positive, just gonna go out there and have fun and not worry about anything. So good start, let's get it going. Zone. He's hard to take off the puck and he makes a quick pass out front and there they go. There go. The rampage on the power play. Five hole, pretty hard to stop. That's Lots right. Of traffic. Beautiful pass out front by Sobchak. Some great Australian talent. Even Chakra out there. Speaking of Australian talent, oh, quick shot and a quicker glove. By Tom Monroe. Don't see many uh, goalies with the assistant captain. That's classic. No, Blaine and I talked about that. I think the first game when Tom came out, uh, Roberto Luongo won. And the coast get an opportunity. Mackenzie Bolger breaking up the middle of the ice. He's moving in quickly. Oh, he's gets a good shot and he scores! <laughs> what a fantastic effort. But put it Bolger. Off the, oh, put it off their skate. Here he is wheeling up. Turns. Bale inside out. Yeah, and off his off of Bale's skate and uh, short side just above the pad. So quickly Sachuk, look at that slick move. He's oh he's in alone. Oh Monroe, beautiful pad save to stop that. That looked like a sure goal. Some sweet dangling there. Quick, you know, look went to the backhand. Cole Clark is out. Look at Kale Costa wheel over to Cole Clark in front. Oh. Great save, two great saves by Nova Sedlak. He flicks it across, but neatly picked out of the air by Mike Tiss going in on his own. Backhand high over the net. That was close. Back to the point, but that's blocked by Kuleshov. Now we got a two on one coming up the coast. It's Costa and Kuleshov. Costa gets a quick shot away. Doris with the puck. Up off the boards is Kale Costa wheeling in. Look at him go. Oh, quick backhand. Oh, that puck just about sneaking by, but Nova said like legs. So oh, quick, eh? Very good. He gets down low and he covers that low part really well. Look at that! Oh, Bolger <laughs> had an opportunity and he got robbed. Doesn't he ever? And there's going to be a penalty on Brisbane here. I think there's a bit of a something happened along the boards, but it doesn't matter. They score. Kale Costa. Good patience in the zone. Absolutely. They didn't rush it. They just set it up. Beautiful play. By being chased by McTaggart, which is their first, but moves around the boards to Sobchak. Oh, wow. What a shot. That was a seeing eye shot. That one had eyes. It bounced twice and uh, came down. Could have been a stick on that in front. So with it, he turns back into the corner, looking out front, across to Goris, who's just out of his reach. Look at that back end shot. Cross in front, and he scores. What a goal! What a pass! They're fun to watch. Stick handling. Little dance. 
stay up there by himself, but just could not get a handle on it. And Rampage with Speck takes a hard hit. Beautiful save by Monroe off a of McTaggart stick. It's off a stick and bouncing. Acosta now with it. He's coming in. He backhand across to Tish. Tish gets a shot away. No, nothing there for him. Nova Sedlik shot. Got a two on one forming up here for the Rampage. Quick shot. What a shot. What a, what a shot. Anthony Barnes. Anthony Barnes, top shelf. High up over the blocker side, what a shot. Doesn't matter who you are. We had a um, just an attempted backhand, but he's, uh, he's got Costa in front. Tish wrapping. Quick shot by Gores, and that's in the net. <laughs> what a shot, Gores. What a play by Tish. Held on, patience. Absolutely. Found a meal. So yeah, Tish good. collecting that up in the neutral zone wheels. Loses his handle and just goes out of the coast zone. We've been moving it back in. Cop using Goris as an outlet. But look at that. Sobchak picks it out of the air. He's in alone. Oh my gosh, what a pass. What a pass and what a goal. Sobchak and McTaggart. Did you see that? <laughs> You had to be looking closely because... Believable. Sobchak picks it out of the air, cuts across the front, back through his legs. Jim McTaggart, no mistake. What a duo. Blue line doesn't let it leave the zone. Taggart over to Sobchak. Sobchak man. Yep. Dangerous duo out there. Both playing defense right now. Barnes pads it away to the corner. McTaggart now with the puck. Being watched closely by Tish. Coast doing well to put a triangle in place there. Sobchak scores. From McTaggart. Came around behind the net there. That was kind of a bit of a... So because it was the last few games of the season, had a lot of friends and family come to the games. Hannah, the girls, my mum and my brother and his family all stayed at a really nice uh, hotel right in Terrigal, right near the beach. It was absolutely awesome to have a really chilled out morning. Just relaxing, not worrying about the game too much. Just appreciating the season we've had and all the great people I've got around me that, you know, help make it work. Mm -hmm. It's such a blur. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look, you can see everybody. Can you see? Can you see everybody in the picture? <laughs> really nice breakfast, but definitely didn't get the money's worth with the girls. Charlie le legitimately did not touch the breakfast whatsoever. Felt like it was a really fitting way to spend the last day of the season, just with the people that I love and care about, and help me make playing hockey possible and then as well being in the place that I'm representing in Central Coast and, and really appreciating how lucky I've been to represent it this season. All right, so game recap from last night. Um, it was a lot cleaner game than it was last weekend, um, which is really a bit of a relief. 5-4 loss, um, very, very, very close game. Um, we just got into some penalty trouble at the end of uh, the game there. We got uh, a double minor with about five minutes to go that really took the wind out of our sails. Um, I think if we hadn't have got that, it might have been a different story. Again, Nick Novosedlak, their goalie, was playing really well. Again, we're just having trouble getting bodies in front of the net, screening and tipping and stuff like that. When we're playing well, we are getting guys in front of those. We're getting tips and we're cleaning up the rebounds. But um, I think just the physical physical battle, not being able to win that physical battle kind of stops us from being able to do anything with those plays. In saying that though, Nick made some really good saves. As far as goals on our end, two screenshots um, that were like screen tips that I didn't even I didn't even see the puck go in. Two that were just quick rebounds or open guys in front. Um, I think the first one, first goal, a uh, guy was carrying it through the slot. It's a shot from the right side, pushed it back left. Got my toe on it and there was a guy just there and just, you know, shoveled it in. Second goal was a shot um, 
from up pretty high I think it was right from the blue line um, but there was two guys kind of battling and they just lined up as as the shot was kind of taken and I didn't even see the shot really I wasn't sure if he'd actually pump faked on it um, I didn't even hear the sound of the stick like snap the puck off the stick either so that one was a bit of a surprise to me I didn't see it at all and then I think it was high and it deflected low through my through my five hole like deflected straight down onto the ice uh third goal was a uh two on one um just a shot uh block aside high that's actually turned into a bit of an issue those shots i don't know why i never had problems with them before um but that's just another two on one like like a clean shot that i should have and i didn't next goal was in the third um a couple guys in i think it was a turnover at our blue line or something like that and they had like two guys come in i've got to respect the shot he took me to the to the outside i had to follow him and then he just put it in front for an open guy to just put it in the open net then the last goal was a bit of an unlucky tip really close probably only about four meters away on my blocker side um, from the bottom of the circle and i could see him he was kind of trying to get enough angle to shoot it far side high um following him over for that shot uh, and um, our D-man went to block it um, and I think it caught a piece of him and then went back the other way. I kind of didn't actually, I didn't actually see the release because it was the block. A tough game, like that was the game winning goal. Um, you know, I feel like we could have definitely come back and, and potted another one, but um, we just got into penalty trouble. I think in that third period, we might have had four minor penalties or something like that, and we just kind of hamstrung ourselves there. It's a bit of a bummer, but at the same time, you know, it was a fun game. I think we played pretty well. And at this point, you know, we're not in finals. Uh, it's the last couple of games of the season. It's just all about having fun with your teammates. At the same time, like, I'm just happy that I've got this opportunity. I'm able to go away, play hockey, travel, you know, spend time with great people playing the sport I love. So that's what I think about in this weekend. That's what I was thinking about in that game. Um, and that's what I'm gonna think about today in our last game. So this is gonna be my last game at this level. After this game, we're moving to a place called Dubbo, which is about five hours west. Got a job uh, as an ecologist with the state government. Um, doing conservation, taking the next step in my career, moving away from consulting and development and into conserving the environment. Work's been really good in um, allowing me to stay here until the season's over. Um, so I've actually been in the job for a couple of weeks now, uh, just working from Newcastle, but we're going to be out there for at least probably four years. So, you know, I don't think I'm going to come back and have a, have a stage of comeback at 37. Hopefully, the league is far too good for, for a 37-year-old uh, that hasn't played in four years to be able to get a spot. You know, it's all about the young guys, like the guys on our team that, are, that have a future in hockey, that want to push themselves, push the sport in the country, get better, like play, maybe even play professionally, make it their job. I've had such an amazing opportunity this year uh, with the coast and... You know, that's what I'm gonna think about today. Uh, it's probably gonna be a pretty emotional game. It's your entire life dedicated to a sport and all the time that you put into it. You know, you've seen the videos, how much time I spend on this and, and trying to be the best I can to, to be able to, you know, give my team a chance to win and, and just see how good I can be as well, test myself. So wrapping all that up in a nice bow today. So um, obviously it's a, it's a shame that we haven't been able to go to finals. Um, it's been a pretty bitter pill to swallow, the way that it all went down last weekend. You know, you come to accept it um, in time, and now it's just about having fun with, you know, my team. This team is like a family. Like, it really, really is. It's nothing that I've ever experienced in hockey before. I think just having the mix of really young guys and, uh, and, you know, and a few older guys, everybody's supporting of each other. Everybody's been through that really tough start to the year and then come back and stormed back and, and really let everybody know that we're here to contend. So, um, it's been an amazing journey and I, I can't wait to wrap it up tonight. So anyway, the girls were up all night last night, so I haven't really slept very much. I'm gonna hit the hotel room, catch up on some sleep and uh, get ready for tonight. One for the road.